All right, good morning, good morning. This is Thursday morning. And uh, that knife sold. Well, I tell you, that knife come out so much nicer than I thought it would. And uh, I'm real happy with that. Anyway, it's it's sold and I gotta make a sheath for it now. So here we go. Let's get started. I uh, have this new way of uh, making sheets not you know terribly different but I'm punching my holes first and I'm finding that you have to be far more exact in your cutting it out uh, because this your stitching groove has to be exact on both sides it has to match completely on both sides and uh, the way I am getting it to be exact is uh, I stopped using this for cutting out the initial pattern and I've started using my scalpel because it's so flexible you can bend it around curves like this and it's, it's much easier uh, also I am also finding that I used to trace my pattern with a pencil and I've stopped doing that and I've started using an awl to trace around my pattern and for some reason it is so much easier to stay in that line with a scalpel using the scribe than it is with a pencil. I don't know why, it might be mental, but uh, it just seems like it's far more easier to make a nice, accurate uh, cut with the scribe and a scalpel. So there we go. Now I'm going to, uh, very first thing, uh, do my stitching groove. And then I gotta pick out a pattern. I mean, uh, what I wanna do. I I'm thinking, I haven't done it in a long time, but I'm thinking I wanna do basket weave I've only done a few and they came out okay, you know, but my skill at stamping has gotten much better and uh, I think I can do a pretty nice basket weave. This is going to be black and a basket weave on black just always looks nice, especially if you buff it afterwards and it's got just a bit of a shine to it. So uh, I'm going to uh, use red thread, black dye at the customer's request. And they didn't mention design, and I kind of think that, you know, most people leave it up to me. And so I'm going to try a basket weave, and we'll see how it works. Okay, this is a whole day of firsts. I have seen sheaths with, uh, you know, if they had uh, a certain color thread that was used just to contrast, just because it looked good with that color they were using on the sheath. I've seen sheaths with stitching going across the top and I'm going to try that that's a first for me so now I'm going to dye this black no <laughs> no now I'm going to do my uh, basket weave but I got to google it I forget you start with a line and then you'll follow a line to each side and I forget how that's done. So I just gotta Google it real quick. I've only done a couple of basket weaves and as I said, they turned out okay, not really good, but okay. And now that I have a better understanding of my tools and how much pressure to use and how hard to hit them and how to follow a, you know, uh, a, a straight line, <laughs> I think I can do a much better job. And then I'm gonna dye it. And then I'm gonna sew my red thread up top here that's all and then I fold it and you know everything's the same after that all right let me uh let me google the basket weave a little bit and uh we'll be right back well it's actually coming up pretty good I don't want to put the cart before the horse here but uh if I keep if I can keep this it's gonna come out really nice all right let me uh I, I tell you what, it does take a lot of finger strength, and I have had surgery on this thumb 
and you know it's usable but boy i tell you what tires out quickly and i don't want my leather to dry so i'm going to keep after it already here we go i am very happy with how that came out Let me get the knife in there. Yep, I like it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put an edge on that blade and probably ship this tomorrow. If it's not completely dry, I'll ship it Monday. Today's, today's Thursday, so. Uh, if I don't ship it tomorrow, it'll have to be Monday. Okay, I like it. Well now, just got done with my probing. Turns out, let me, let me get out of here before I divert my attention. Sorry to trouble you. Can't see around my vehicles. So there's a chance that, like he said, there's a 40 to 50% chance that I have prostate cancer. And uh, he said, it's just something that happens to men as they age. And uh, he doesn't want to, he left it up to me. He said, I can do a biopsy. We can remove it. We can do an MRI. Or you can come back in six months and see if your PSA is elevated. He's saying, I'm going to tell you right now, the first time I saw you, your PSA was much higher than it is now. He said, that's a good sign. That means if you do have cancer, that it's uh, you know, extremely slow growing, which I've heard that about prostate cancer. And prostate cancer, for the most part, does not kill people. I mean, ultimately, you have it removed and the problem's over. You know, you may get chemo trying to keep it or... Boy, is it hot in here. Jeez. So, I said, uh, I told him if I get any more parts cut out of me, I'm going to be hollow. You know, uh, I just want to, let's just come back in six months and test my blood and see what my PSA level is then. Boy, this, this is Shreveport I'm driving through and there, just traffic is crazy. People, oh, and coming out, going back this way, in the middle lane, man, there was this gigantic hunk of steel uh, right in the middle lane. I mean, across the whole lane, you couldn't avoid it. People are slamming on their brakes and going around it is unbelievably I'm surprised there wasn't a wreck and who knows there may be a wreck going back I may get off the interstate a little early before I get back to that there and take a back road because uh, there was a tanker outfit I used to John and John tank lines just went by that away Charlie that's where I taught Charlie how to drive a truck and uh, those days are over you have to go to a truck driving school yeah, that company was a joke, John and John, a complete joke. But I will always be grateful that they let me teach Charlie how to drive a truck. And, you know, some people just, what do they say, took to it like a duck to water. Oh, that's Charlie took to truck and like, and I knew she would. I mean, even that early time in our marriage, I knew she was a, a capable smart, coordinated woman, and she uh, picked up trucking like a month. She was, you know, shifting gears, float shifting, and, uh, you know, I could go to sleep and let her drive. You know, it did take a month or two or three for me to let her drive through the big cities, 
I would drive to the big cities and then go back to bed and let her take take over out of town. Heavy traffic, that kind of thing. And going through little skinny towns trying to work our way to a delivery, I would do that until, uh, you know, probably a year, I don't know. But by two years in, she was as good as me, and I was damn good. God, it's still hot in here, man. You know, I had to carry a spare bag around with me because I have had that in a colostomy bag. I have had a, a couple emergencies where I had to quickly change my bag. So I uh, carry the components, the parts, but I can't leave them in the truck because uh, the heat will melt the adhesive and uh, it's a weird kind of wax that goes around the ring that sticks to your skin. So I had to bring it in everywhere with me. And since I'm bringing it in everywhere with me and it's a big black bag, I carry my gun in there too. So uh, there's that. Usually in the winter when I'm wearing my shorts, I carry my small pistol because it's lightweight. And I can stick it in my pocket or clip it to my waistband, which that's what I usually do. But I prefer my bigger gun because it has a 13 plus 1 round capacity. And uh, I've always figured that more rounds is way better than practice. Okay, that's enough about me. So I'm going to go back in six months and uh, they're just going to keep an eye on my PSA. He said it's such a slow progressing cancer that Hold on, I think I'm going to sneeze. I'm in the slow lane going speed limit. Speed limit 60. I'm going exactly 60. I got Mr. Red Peterbilt trying to give me another uh, prostate check. There you go. I guess he's trying to get around me. That car wouldn't pass me. That's passing me now. do that until he gets up to the next car. Yep, I am so glad I don't have to earn a living on the highway anymore. Okay, that's enough about me. I uh, may or may not have cancer, and it's not uh, serious enough to worry about just uh, six months. If it's elevated, then my next step would be an MRI and then a biopsy, and I'm assuming by biopsy, they go in there and pull a piece of the prostate out and test it for cancer, so there's still plenty of options, and I'm not going to worry about it again, so it's over in my head. I'm going to go back to uh, making knives. <laughs> Have a good one.